Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Welcome to a brand new episode of our latest challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily Yoga is a very special challenge. Not only do you not have to have any prior expertise or training, you also don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the comfort of your house. All you need is a little bit of time, a yoga mat and that's it. What are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started with today's session. In today's session, we are primarily going to focus on breath work, which is pranayam or breathing exercises. Today, we'll be doing six exercises. Let's go over a few basic points. The first point is your position. You can sit in Vajrasan like I'm sitting or cross your legs in Sukhasan in front of you. You can even sit on a chair if that feels more comfortable as long as your spine is straight and your shoulders are relaxed. Your neck should be in alignment with your spine. So make sure that you're not slouching. We are sitting in an attentive position because we don't want to fall asleep. All these practices are meditative in nature. Your heart, heart rate slows down and it's uh, possible that you may fall sleepy, may feel sleepy. So it's imperative that you sit in an attentive position so as not to fall asleep. So the second thing to remember is that once you are able to make a good comfortable position, try not to change your position unnecessarily for the duration of the practice. As I said, these practices are meditative in nature and any kind of movement can cause a lot of distraction. So make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position and try to maintain that position throughout the practice. This was about your position. Let's talk about duration. As far as duration is concerned, all the exercises today we will be practicing for four to five minutes. It's a bit of a long time. Uh, not very long but the important thing to remember is that you listen to your body if you feel tired or out of breath you take a little pause breathe normally and come back to the exercise as soon as you feel that you're able to so that's all the points that you need to remember for today's session let's get started with our first exercise we are going to start today's session with a simple exercise known as Chandra Bhedan Pranayam in which you are going to breathe in from the left nostril and breathe out from the right nostril. So breathing in, all the inhalation will happen on the left side, all the exhalation, breathing out will happen on the right side. Let's take your right hand thumb, blocking your right nostril, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, try to take deep inhales, deep exhales,
and change. Let's transition to the second exercise for today. It is the exact opposite of what we just did. Surya Bhedan Pranayam. In this, you will breathe in from the right side and breathe out from the left side. So all the inhalation will happen from the right nostril, exhalation from the left nostril. Let's take your left hand thumb blocking the left nostril. Breathe in and out. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation.
and change. Moving on to our third exercise for today. Since we've already breathed in from the left and the right, we will now practice alternate nostril breathing, also known as Nadi Shodhana or Anulom Vilom Pranayam. You're gonna take your right hand thumb blocking the right nostril, breathing in from the left, breathing out from the right. Now opposite, breathing in from the right, breathing out from the left. Again opposite, breathing in, breathing out. We'll practice it for four to five minutes.
change. Moving on to our fourth exercise for today, it is called Vilom Pranayam, also known as paused breath breathing. So in this, you breathe in by taking short pauses. Breathe in, pause, breathe in, pause, breathe in, pause, until your lungs are fully inflated. Similarly, breathe out, pause, breathe out, pause, breathe out, pause, until all the air has escaped your lungs. So your breathing in and breathing out is with short pauses. Let's practice it for four to five minutes.
and change. This concludes four exercises. Moving on to the fifth exercise. It is called Brahmri Pranayam. You will take your index fingers and place them on top of your eyebrows. Three fingers to close your eyes and your thumb will you, you will use to plug your ears. You will breathe in, breathe out and chant the M sound.
Finally, we move on to the last breathing exercise for today. It is called focused breathing. In this, you will breathe in and out with a lot of focus. Keep your focus right in the middle of your forehead. Keep your attention on your breath flowing in from your nostrils into your windpipe, into your lungs. And when you breathe out, the air is moving from your lungs into your windpipe, out through the nostrils. So keep your attention on the movement of the wind, on the movement of the air into your body and outside. Make sure that your attention doesn't deviate. If it does, bring it back to the movement of the air.
and change. So this concludes our pranayam session. We've done six exercises and I hope that you enjoyed all of them. Stay consistent to see consistent results. Let's conclude the session by chanting the Mahamartanjay Mantra. Go ahead and repeat the words after me. Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushtivardhanam Urvaruk Mibabandhana Mrityor Mokshi Mamrata Rubbing your hands together, placing them on your eyes, on your ears and on your heart. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. As I mentioned before, stay consistent and you'll see wonderful results. Do follow us on all social media and you will stay updated with cutting edge fitness challenges. That's it for today. Stay tuned until next time.